Hi guys, my name is Afia and I'm going to be doing a review on the Louis Vuitton clay in the monogram print. This was in Eben. So this is what the Eben looks like. This is the mini pochette and this is the clay. The clay. Okay. So I got this in 2018. So um, I want to say March 2018. And like the mini pochette, this is I just absolutely absolutely love it absolutely love this thing um it's been so handy when it comes to traveling abroad when it comes to just going about my everyday life where I live um literally I've used this so much every day um I put in my cards bank cards ID cards um and yeah it's been just it just made my life so much easier rather than having like a big purse like and putting that in my bag and like lugging that around everywhere like just compacting or should I say downsizing into to this thing and having a compact case for all my cards has just been absolutely um life changing <laughs> like when you had like if you saw the purse that I had before you'll you'll understand what I'm talking about why I'm so excited about this um so what i want to do i'm going to measure this and talk about the pros and cons and um just little bits of advice that i feel would be um would if i had known i would i would have liked to have known once buying this or prior to buying this okay so um width wise this is around 12 centimeters 12 centimeters width um from top to bottom it's around like six centimeters and from the side like roughly about two centimeters something like that at, at the thickest point at the widest um, point so it's it's slim compact and it you just literally pop it in your bag and you're good to go when i want to go out and i don't want to carry a huge bag usually what i'll do i'll put this in here um, and then literally my phone, my iPhone XS can fit in here. The other phone that I had prior, which was a iPhone 6S Plus, I think. Yeah, that was too big to fit into the, into the mini pochette. So I purposely got a smaller phone so I could put it in here. So I, I can literally put my clay in this keys phone and i'm good to go okay so more about this clay clay is the french word for key keys or key um so the idea of this was you um hold on you put your keys on the d-ring that it comes with so it comes like that put your keys on here you put your keys inside the pouch and you zip the pouch and then you put that in your bag so that when you're sort of walking around your keys don't scratch the inside of your very beautiful bag whatever bag that is you know so i like the idea of that however i don't mind my keys just being in my bag as long as you know i've I've organized them in a way that I know that it won't scratch the inside of my bag. So what I use this for are for my cards, like I already mentioned. So when I first bought this, I could only fit about 10 cards in there comfortably without, without you know, overstretching it and thinking that I'm gonna cause some sort of damage to the, to the clay. So um, yeah, it was 10 cards, but with time, I've been able to fit many more cards. Well, when I say many more, like two, three cards extra. So. 12 11 12 13 cards comfortably or i can fit like 11 to 12 cards and then i can fit in notes so like one or two notes and then coins as well like thick one pound coins or two pound coins um i haven't have you guys seen any two pound coins recently i haven't seen two pound coins in a long time like i only really see one pound coins and 50p coins and sometimes five p's anyway so i'm gonna just bring out the cards oh dear I've got so many little bits and bobs in here yeah so sometimes in here i'll have business cards as well and they're like thin thinner so they don't i don't count them as a card but if you have like two or three of them then i count the thickness of a business card like two or three of them i would like count as one card yeah so i'm gonna open this and i don't know if you can see 
it's a bit dark like the lighting's not very good but it's literally just a, like a brown brown material the inside okay anyway so <laughs> so i've got bank cards id hold on one two three four okay let's go through the cards that i got yeah so i've got a bank card another bank card loyalty card nectar card uh, super drug card nando's card <laughs> crispy cream card aa membership card um another bank card another bank card a harrods card and um driver's license card okay okay so and then also i've got some notes just like 15 pound that i forgot was there actually and then I've got um, 25p. <laughs> As I say, I usually have pound coins. I don't know where they've all gone. I think I've probably spent them all. I don't really, I don't really carry cash and use cash, but um, yeah. But yeah, anyway. So, so yeah, I'm gonna just put all my cards back in the in the clay and show you how I basically like load the clay like how i put everything in back in because there is a there is a science to this um if you want to avoid like if you want to avoid something that i will explain in a, about in, in a little while so what i do first hold on what card should i put at the front okay so my nando's card yeah hold on I always want to put my cards in first so I've got my stack of cards and then I'm gonna just slot them in and then hold on slot them in and then I go in with my notes so I've only got 15 pound here and um, what I do if I this is like the plastic money the new notes which are smaller than the other ones like you can't get paper paper five pound notes anymore and you can't get paper ten pound notes is it even paper i don't know but they're all plastic now but like the 20 pound notes and the 50 pound notes you can still get the old ones with those and those are slightly bigger as well so what i would do i would fold them in half and then fold them in half again and then pop them in the clay and I did the same with the 10 pound note and when I do that when I pop them inside the clay literally guys this is like attention attention like literally listen to this you need to get your money you need to get your money then you need to you need to like push it all the way down like all the way like you do not want your notes to touch that zipper any like get close anywhere to that zipper because you will spend 30 minutes of your life trying to like carefully yank the zip so that you don't spoil this thing this clay and you don't like tear your money or like you it's just long like just make sure you push your notes all the way to the bottom every time you zip back up okay and I've got 25p, I don't know where that came from, but let's just pretend those are pound coins. They would fit in nicely. And then literally I pop the D-ring back in and then I'm zip, I zip, hold on. And then I'm good to go. The zip is fine. I don't know, it's very robust. I've had this thing for two and a half years, roughly. And um, the only thing that I would say that was bad was when the money gets caught in the zip and the only thing that I noticed with the wear and tear of this is that the corners are fine. Um, but I can see that the design, like let's say this this um, flower detail here, I don't know what you call them, they have a special name, but there's some, that pattern sort of runs on the edge of the clay like here. And you can see like it's slightly, slightly, um, like fading with time due to like the corners rubbing on with things inside my bag um but other than that this thing and the other mini pochette that i have has really like 
held well it's really held well really um robust elegant like when i when i have these items i feel grown up i feel um yeah elegant ladylike i feel um yeah like i just i think style wise functionality wise um it's good for your money i don't know if i mentioned i got this for this retailed one at the time when i bought it it was 130 pounds but i got it for 125 pounds because i had five pound credit on my harrods card at the time um so i think if you can if you're in the uk spending in harrods is good because you can um gain like get more points you can get more points um, every pound you spend you get a point and like if you um, say it's your birthday you get more points and like certain times of the year you get double points and xyz and um, do your research into that um, it, it, it's worth it I think so yeah like say for example I got five pounds of, of this and because it was worth 130 pounds I think I got 130 points as well or was it like 125 points I can't remember now but um, yeah but that those points like i think 100 points equals a pound so imagine like you sp you pay like two thousand pound for a bag and that would be so two thousand pounds you get two thousand points which would be around 20 pound off like anything else that you wanted which i think a little goes a long way and i, I think that's that's great okay so this clay is real good mini pochette is good I forgot to mention when I bought these things they came in a hold on this is the mini pochette box so the clay also came with its own box and it had like a, a ribbon with a bow but the ribbon I'm not sure where that is but basically it's like a matchstick box you pull it out and then inside you get like a dust bag so let's say like you're traveling and like if I was traveling, this would be my main bag. Like I'm not really gonna put this in the dust bag, but like you'd, um, I don't know, you just put it in the dust bag and like literally like this, and then you just fold it over and put it in your suitcase if you, if you wanted to, and then you're good to go. Like really good for traveling, dust bags, I love dust bags. Um, but yeah. I know this video is about the clay in particular but these are the things that I've loved from LV and if I needed to I would buy this again. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and watch out for more videos talking about luxury fashion, shopping vlogs etc etc. Also follow my Instagram page which is Afia Bink K Shops. That's Afia Bint K underscore shops, where I'll be showing you more purchases, more personal shopping experiences and vlogs.